Hi guys, I'm back. So I'm just going to add to what we've done so far uh, in relation to arrays. And uh, arrays uh, can have multiple dimensions. So these can be as follows. So this was the first program that we had uh, concerning arrays and we just did it uh, in a way where we can just see how an array works, what we can do with an array. We can also be able to pretty much play around with our arrays. So for example, I can change this and put two and three there. If I run the pro program, I'll get uh, six and F. If I change and I put three there and I put two there, I'll be able to see a different change again. I now have eight and Q, which then means I'm going in a specific order in my values. So in the next set of arrays that we want to work with, it's multiple dimensions. So multiple dimensions, I'll be able to view all the contents or I want to view all the contents of our, our array so that at least we can be able to see how our arrays would be able to work. So I'll still do the same concept that I did with my arrays, but I will make it a multiple dimension on both counts. So I'll make a multiple dimension array of uh, our integers and our characters. So I can say the following. Int A, which then becomes our array. So if we're making the multiple dimensions, we then need to have two sets of uh, square brackets where I can say four and four uh, 4 and 4 becomes my setup for my array, right? And then since it's my setup for my arrays, I would also need two extra variables, which will be as follows. Um, A and B. So A and B would then be my uh, values that I'll be able to view what the contents of each element would be. So, I would need to have uh, a set of loops, uh, which is two four statements. That would be the first one, and I would need a second one, uh, where the first one will get my value that I want. So it would be A is equal to zero. Uh, the next one would be A is less than our maximum, which is four. And then A iterates. The second one would be for B, whereby we say B is equal to zero. B is less than four and then B iterates like that. So what we then want to do is we have set our two uh, arrays and our two control statements to get our array. So we'll then say A in brackets, A and B. But to get the values there, we want to be able to say whatever um, is our A and whatever is our B, we then multiply that and add that to our array. At the same time, we then want to display the content. So this is adding the content to our array. The next bit is um, we also want to then display contents of 
the array. So to do that, we'll still have our, our loops, two of them. Where this one is for B, this one is for A, is equal to zero, is equal to zero. Uh, B is less than four. B iterates. Uh, A is less than four. A iterates like that. So we then now <coughs> need to see what this produces. So it's a print F, and with our print F, we want to have the following. We want to have a percentage D uh, and then we want to have the contents of our array which will be A and B and then soon after that we put a print F. So that we create a new line so there's nothing in this printf but a new line like that so if we are to run it ah okay i wasn't supposed to do this i don't know why i did this uh, I'm not supposed to have two variables called A, so let's just change our array position and have a R wherever our array was supposed to be. So let's run it. Okay, perfect. Now it works. So now it gives us these values where each value has actually been generated by the for statement and uh, we are simply saying wherever we're adding the value we would have multiplied a and b based on how it's incrementing and it's multiplying the values so we'll get that list of numbers that is there so in this list maybe if i can add a bit of uh, pretext we are simply saying the moment we want to display content, the contents of our array, we're actually adding our values at that point. So we loop from A is equal to zero to A is less than four and we iterate. So in other words, we are saying at this point, we're saying A is equal to zero, one, two, and three. That's what we are saying there. We're also saying B is also equal to 1, 2, and 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we're then saying the moment we then get our answers, we're saying there's a point where we'll say 0 multiplied by 0, which gives us 0. So all these values have been multiplied by 0 at some point in time. And all these other values might have been multiplied by another value which is not 0 or 1. So which then means we still can be able to get more con content based on what we would have done. And in the way that it's coming out, it's not showing us the way it's actually going to be presented. So we are simply saying uh, at any given point in time, we will have uh, this being the first row. Uh, this being the second row, this being the third row, and then this finally being the final row. So what we are then looking at is if we are to put it in a matrix form, let's say we want to put it in a matrix form to see how this is happening. We can be able to say the following. The first row will have our zeros like that 
the next row we have our 0 1 2 3 the next row we have our 0 2 4 6 and then the next row we have our 0 3 6 9 like that so what we are then seeing is in the case of our array we are saying at any given point in time let's say we say the following we say a r 0 2 like that a r 0 2 will give us we have to look at um, the first row which has 0 okay uh, the first row which has 0 so we are saying this then becomes our first row right or the first column so it's 0 we are starting from there and then we want to be able to get the next value which would be position number two so this is position number one and we want to get a position number two so the next position number two would be that one because we are saying zero is where we start so this is one two and three so at the third position we've got two which should give us two like that so that is what we are saying our arrays uh will be doing in a multi-dimensional array so before we close the lesson let's actually do another um uh another example where we show how we can also do this with the uh, character so we would need to declare another variable because we can't use the same variable and we call it t and t will contain three elements and these three elements will then have the following we want to have um, our specific rows and columns so with our rows and columns we will then need to do the following Right, so this then becomes the first row. We we'll put a comma, we've got the second row, we we'll put a comma, we've got the third row, we we'll put a comma. So in our values, we want to then put um, characters, right? Uh, for our characters, we said the last time we put single quotes. So that we can put our characters okay so our characters will be as follows if g p x y z um zero all right five three j like that those then become our characters so we then want to see the values of each of these elements so let's say we want to display uh something similar to what what i showed you here where we said uh, ar02 okay so to do that we need to then say um printf uh print if and we want to display t in brackets zero and two and we want this to be displayed percentage c we we'll put a new line and we then put t in brackets zero and two right so in that particular case if we run it we should be able to see what this gives us let's run and see what it gives us 
you then actually find now if we say 0 and 2 we actually get the p on the first line okay so that's pretty much how we would be working with our uh, character arrays okay the other way we could also do it we could also do it in a slightly different manner whereby we can also say print if and with our print if we can simply say um, percentage C we we'll put a new line and we don't specify like we did on the printf there we can just then simply put t and we put our numbers that we want uh, and then if we run it it will still give us uh, an answer without us specifying how we got to uh, this value so this way at least you as the programmer would be knowing how to uh, navigate around it uh, but for the user they might need to know what it is that you're doing another way we can actually display our content is as follows we can also say uh, a value of um, t in brackets 0 is percentage C, we put a new line, we put a comma, we then say asterisk T in brackets zero, like that. If we close and run our program, we would actually then find that we get the value of F Although I've messed up the spelling of is there, let me just correct that. But uh, that's another way we can add or view our characters. One final way we can uh, use uh, before our lesson ends is as follows. We can then say T is percentage D. We put a new line. And then, uh, sorry, it's percentage C. And then we do the following. We put two asterisks, and then we put the value of T, like that. So we can also be able to run it. Oh, I forgot a T. I was wondering what was happening there. I forgot the T. Okay. So, the moment we do it this way, it's as good as we are also referencing uh, our array, but we still get the value of F. So, this is how we can also play around with our arrays and our character 